Ladies and gentlemen, please remain in your seats. Please remain in your seats. Stay back away from the fence. Chuck is trying to get himself out of the car. He is moving. Please stay in your seats. Please stay in your seats. Hostel is talking to the drivers after we had a lot of cars over at turn four. Looks like McGinnis and Hostel got together. And Hostel caught a run or something was cut when we had the front stretch. And in the meantime, in turn number three and four, we've got a bunch of them stacked up. Flanagan in the 72, Burley in the 89B, Kerwin in the seven. One more car, I can't quite make out the number from here. You got one crewman down there. As the track crew attending to Chuck, trying to get him unbuckled safely and out of the car. <laughs> So we got two incidents to deal with. Tommy Flanagan trying to drive away from that over there. But the red flag is out. Although they let him drive away. Tim Currier also stops up against the wall here in four. Scott Kerwin is climbing actually back into the number seven car. So he might be able, he might be able to drive away. I think that's Phil McNeary, the other car caught up in that incident. Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck is out of the car. Chuck also is out of the car. Helmet is off. And wave to the crowd. As the Jerry Riddle Motors A Superior Concrete 22 in a bad way here. On a 22 car brought back on all four wheels. You can see the incredible amount of damage on that racer. Front two back. So the work will continue over in three and four to separate the cars involved. Looks like they have the Kerwin 7K car pushed away. They've unhooked that car from the three-car tangle over there.